Good morning, this is Burn Rate, and welcome back to Democracy 3. And I step again into my office to lead this country as the days blur into weeks, blur into months, and term blurs into term. But we continue to adapt and lead our country through self-sacrifice to prosperity and safety. You can see our GDP is rising along with some increases of unemployment, but I believe there will be a lot of things we can do to improve that. Immigration is dropping, or has dropped recently. So what we'll do here, we'll continue on. We can take a look at our security briefing. This group and this group are concerning. So we may want to up some of our hmm, policies. So we're going to close that out. Let's see how much political capital we have. We can hold a maximum of 52. So what I think I will do is remove our debt and step forward. A liberal plot. This is unfortunate. They have extremists, so this is a, a dangerous thing. So retail merger. Again, uh, my stance is capitalism needs to be regulated as well as so that means blocking monopoly, monopolies. So we are going to block the merger. And poll reports still holding at 80%. We're doing well. Let's see, we still have 52, so we're going to lose a bit of capital. But I want to save up as much as possible. Hmm. Unemployment, GDP both down, a market meltdown. That's unfortunate. So let's see how we're doing. Ah, uh, we're just, let's see, all right, so there's a few things I want to do to reduce the liberal threat again. Let's see here. Public service, we have art subsidies, but what, curfews, death penalty, hmm. detention without trial, these would improve security, this would reduce liberalism. But it would make the liberals hate even hate us even more. But these would improve security at the same time. And this is more expensive extreme program. So I think we're gonna go perhaps with detention without trial or curfews, I'm not sure. I think you know there the steps do need to be taken right now. There's a lot going on, but steps do need to be taken to to ensure the safety of the citizens and the government because we can't afford political instability in these this day and age. So we're gonna we're gonna put this in and max it out. It's no, we'll keep it here. It, it's gonna have quite a negative effect on our popularity but I think we can handle it. We'll, we'll try and make some other policy changes to improve things. And we can take a look here once this, this is in effect where is it curfews so we'll improve our security which is good so we're out of political capital we do have reserves and a good surplus right now so we'll head next. Uh, continuing liberal plots they're looking at ways to topple the government so again a problem. We have a Chancellor resign. Unfortunate our tax. So let's hire a new tax. Mm-hmm. You don't look too bad. Again, GDP is going down just due to the market crash. Unfortunate. A curfew has quite a negative effect on it as well. But Oh we're running a deficit now. We're going to need to make some changes. How much? I have 22 political capital. There are some extraneous things. We cannot cancel this currently. I think 5 billion. Hmm. There needs to be some other places we can trim, trim some fat as well, but we'll gain a little more political capital. Oh, a failed assassination attempt. This is concerning. We probably need to continue to improve uh, our security. So let's cancel this. We need we need some money. Let's look at our expenditures here. We may need to to bring this down some. Mm. 
So our approval rating is still rising, interestingly enough. Uh, we can actually implement this in a way that will reduce liberalism and minimize the impact of the capitalist negative uh, values. Improve some other things. Improve foreign relations. That'll push up immigration, though, which is unfortunate considering its effect on poverty and unemployment but we're gonna go with this now we do have more limited political capital now so we're gonna have to be careful about what we do and do not choose Is there any other public services we can work in we shall see this would actually be useful How is this? Public libraries, a lot of good things. This actually might be good. We're going to have to save up a little bit of political capital and we're going to lower that. Um, mortgage rate rise, another failed assassination attempt. This is very concerning. It's the tap capitalist groups. There's a lot of people with issues right now. Um, what do we have that's positive? We need to increase uh, the religious membership and we need to do something to improve the capitalist uh, approval rating of us. Let's, let's go back here again to where we just were. I'm going to bring this down. I mean, it's not like that can get any worse. We'll just need to improve security. We'll bring it to there. Small changes, small steps. And what else do we have? We can save up political capital for that as well. We really need some more of these enacted, but we need to build up some political capital. And right now, uh, the limit on our maximum is a, is a bit making things a bit difficult. Again, a failed assassination attempt. Our GDP is recovering. Let us look at what we can do in terms of security, detention without trial, and the microchip implants. We have a high. Uh, we can increase this. Excellent. We have a high security effectiveness. We may want to save up to get those. Of course, we do need 50 political capital for each of those. We're going to have to improve, again, a failed assassination attempt. We're going to have to improve uh, our approval rating through some programs school vouchers, healthcare vouchers. See what this does. Liberal again. I think this is going to be generally good though. Another failed assassination attempt bill. That's why we have the security in place that we do have. Internet economy takes off. Excellent. Our GDP is doing well. Um, and again, we're still we're limited by our max max. Uh, political capital which is unfortunate so what can we do in order to improve some of our hmm. this will actually improve the economy it'll reduce our foreign relations but that'll help reduce hmm, that will help reduce um, some of the immigration is not bad. The capitalists do not like it. You know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna cancel it. It did cost me a fair bit of political capital just to check it out. Another failed assassination attempt. 
My cabinet ministers need to talk to me. We we really need to change those up some. You know, as they fire, as they quit, we'll hire some more patriot religious conservative ones. I mean, there's not much we can do to recover this. Let's look at your negative modifiers, state health service, rent controls. There's just a lot of positive things for the for the GDP that you are very disliking of. If we cancel this. Let's see. Let's cancel this policy. We're going to need to take some steps to balance out our our political position. Although we are doing well, there are there are some minority groups that are causing much too much trouble. The Freedom League. It is unfortunate, but that sector of our society has just been decreasing for years. It's not something we can just constantly continue worrying about. So we'll go into our next term, another failed assassination attempt. But that is why, you know, we have the security in place we do because we can see we are leading this country in a good way. Unemployment is down. We have a good GDP. Health, education, crime, and poverty are very low. So, you know, honestly, it's just ignorance that is bringing them to attack me. We really need... Who's, who's the lowest? So we're going to fire you. And we need a foreign policy minister. Someone sympathetic to the current political environment. There's not many with the foreign policy interest. Mm, I think you may be the best. Isabella Clark. How about yourself? We'll hold off on that. We could really use a bit more political capital to improve the safety of our government and there, thereby improving the safety of our entire country because we don't need this instability. Hmm. we really need is a couple more things to improve our uh, security but we need a higher political capital but we're getting back there we just need to move around our cabinet a little bit um, slowly adapt to the political climate but it's not a it's not a big deal things are still going very well for everyone in the country in general I'm doing more for these people than anyone else could I don't understand their discontent. This is improving. That is outstanding. This group is going to disappear, but here I don't see anything I can do to really ever remove you know this discontent with this group. They just they're just opposed to to safety and prosperity. I don't know, do they want people to suffer? Perhaps we'll continue on. Again, assassination attempt. From the Freedom League, the liberal groups, uh, unfortunately a flash crash. We do suffer a negative GDP, but it's quite a terrible event. Let's take a look. My poll report is still high. We're still, you know, climbing in general. It's, it's you know, we just have to adapt to the current environment. We can see, you know, those who are those who there's there's uh, some of the cabinet members just have the appropriate sympathies they understand what needs to be done right now and I think you know once we once we've adjusted to the new situation we'll be fine it's just gonna take a long time probably a few more years 
But anything we can do, some small services that are possibly still available. How is our, how is our, are we still running a small deficit, which is unfortunate. But there may be some programs we can cut. The rail subsidies are still quite high. No, do not cancel that. Revert changes. Let's take a look. Popularity airline tax. I don't think it's something we need. Mortgage tax relief. These are some very expensive programs. Let us look in here. There needs to be something we can do that will really help. I think we may have enacted all the policies that can just, you know, are generally helpful and nice, but let's see. Let's take a look at this one. Huh, that actually improves the liberal opinion of us. I don't think it'll do much, but it also improves health. And our conservative position is quite well right now, so I think we can afford this as well as financially afford this. Yes, absolutely. We are running a very small bit of debt, but that is okay. It's just the, the world market is, you know, waffling a little bit right now. So our GDP should should recover. So we're going to have our, our election next term, but we have quite a high approval rating. So there's absolutely no worry here. So next section, the election results. Let's start the count. We can see our activist turnout boost is quite high. Turnout near 90%, almost a little above. Opposition turnout is very low. But we can begin our next term. Again, the liberal failed assassination attempts. This is, this is getting unacceptable. Unemployment is rising. But our GDP has also recovered quite a bit. Let's look at some of the effects here. GDP is the biggest contributor to unemployment. Some industrial automation. But there's a lot of things pushing it down. So let's close this out. We will continue on. Ah, their opinion is improving. I think to the point where this group may actually dissipate soon. We still are running a small deficit. We're going to need to do, do something about that sooner or later. As we begin our next term, it may be the time to I guess just you know begin begin some more adjustments. Let's let's bring this down. Ah, see that's that's a big effect on unemployment. Hmm. Let's get out of here. We'll we'll hold that steady. There's something we need to do to improve things. Look at our carbon tax. It's too much of a negative effect on the GDP there. makes everyone unhappy but we need the money we are running quite a severe deficit at this time hmm what can we do to help reduce our costs this is already working Take a look at our expenditures, the biggest ones, state health service, state schools, climate change adaptation fund, pensions, military spending. The anti-gravity research grants. That also helps with unemployment. We're going to need to cut some programs to help with, uh, to help with this deficit sooner or later, but we'll move forward here. We'll go into the next turn. Again, failed assassination attempt, but the GDP is rising. Unemployment is down. This is just, it's, it's beginning to get unacceptable. We need to, ah, oh, look, excellent. We can improve our security again. 
So we're going to go in here and we are going to work with, which is the cheaper one. This one is much cheaper. So again, there's really nothing we can do about the liberal position of us. Foreign relations being reduced does help reduce immigration. So I'm okay with that. And now we can look at our security positioning. Only one left. So let's see, we can get back up again to uh, 50 in two turns. Um, and again, you know, f just really guarantee the security of our government and in turn the security of the country. Stability, it is a difficult and, and dark time in this world. There's shortages of, of water, of materials and things, but I think, you know, here people know they are safe, know they are taken care of. We know the society is under control. But for now, I will I will take a take a break, take a break, rest some, and until the next term, the next quarter I should say, our next term is quite far away away. But until the next quarter, uh you should get some rest too. And when we come back, we will continue to shoulder the burden that is leading this country through the difficult and dark times and provide them with the security and, and guidance that they need. Thank you for watching.